Well, hey guys, uh, welcome to Castle of Legends. Thought I'd uh, try doing uh, a complete build beginning to end. Um, this originally was a lot longer uh, in terms of video footage, but I kind of cut it down as much as I can. Um, so I picked this casting thinking it looked great for Gaslands. Uh, I had a couple other wagons um, in my collection that I was going to use, but I found this one at, at the dollar store. So I picked it up. Uh, at first I thought, you know, make, make it easy to do a performance car with a Ram. But um, I, I like the top and I like the opening, so I thought, you know what, maybe I'll make this into uh, like a missile, uh, a missile firing car. So, anyways, without further ado, I just kind of get into the whole build of the um, of the car. So uh, here you're just starting to you know remove the rivets. Uh, recommend using doing a pilot hole first with a smaller bit and then um, picking up. Uh, Sorry, using a larger drill bit about the size of the rivet itself. And it should look something like that as you're as you're getting through it. And as you can see, it just comes apart after you remove both rivets and you get to see what you have on the inside. I really like the engine for this model, so I thought, oh, that's going to be something that's going to look good once it's all finished. Okay, here, so I'm going to be removing the uh, paint with um, some aircraft grade uh, paint remover. Uh, normally, I actually take off all the paint and use a lot more. Um, and I think there's a way to actually cover the car with something, not plastic, but maybe like metal, to like a tin foil to keep the, um, uh, you know, keep the stripper closer to the, to, the, to the paint and use less of it. I usually do, do this with maybe two or three cars at the same time. Um, but uh, when I started doing this, I actually kind of liked the effect of leaving the graphics and some of the color on the side. I thought, you know, I'm just going to leave it and kind of kind of work with what what I've got. But I put a little bit more on the top of the uh, of the car. I wanted to get rid of that um, that paint job in the tampo that was up there. So th this is me just moving the uh the car around obviously uh just to kind of get some of the 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 stripper covering as much as i can and um you know i was going to just leave it in soak and make sure that it's uh you know as you can see it starts to um come off pretty quickly with that stuff um don't get any on your hands um it does hurt so <laughs> make sure you're using gloves or um you know just don't use your hands on it uh, very much i did do that one time and yeah you can feel it um, pretty pretty early on so recommend um, just don't touch it while you're while you're at this stage and then now I'm just going to start spraying the, um, the interior bits get rid of all that chrome um, and then started painting the wheels uh, on the on the car because they're blue and you know different colors and then here I'm just gonna clean things up just washing off the uh, paint stripper make sure it's nice and clean and I thought the effect of the um, tampons on the side looked pretty pretty neat like just like graffiti so I thought I'm just gonna leave it like that And I've just going back to spray some more of the interior bits. Make sure that they're, um, you know, well covered. Of course, I'm kind of rushing through this a little bit when I was working on this car. So, you know, I tried to, I uh, didn't really let it dry enough in between steps, but, you know, it still looked, uh, it turned out, turns out okay. Okay. 
So at this point, I was actually gonna just do some damage on the top. Just kind of wanted to show you guys, you know, what it would do to do some damage. Of course, you um, make sure your drill bit is uh, actually firmly fastened to your drill, but um, you know, it's just something I kind of overlook when I change the drill bit. But you know, it's an easy way to put like little bullet holes um, in terms of details. But of course, as you see in the video, I'll, I'll actually cover these up. Constantly changing, uh, changing plans when you're building these things. And that's roughly how it will look at the end if you put a few bullet holes in the, into it. Now here I just started to read my bits box. Um, I was looking for a RAM originally, but then I thought, yeah, I'm going to build this thing into a missile car. I just want to see what kind of missiles I actually had. Um, I organized my parts using baggies. Um, just a lot easier, so I try to you know group them by kind of vehicle they are or what kind of bits um, they might be good for. So some of it's just miscellaneous and some of it's just, um, you know, they, they just ended up in that, that particular bag. Um, Okay, so here I'm gonna try to build um, a rocket mount, and um, you know, see how it would look. You know, once I once I put together, um, I like to try to use um, scrap card, like cardboard, if if all possible. I mean, if I had a piece of plastic that would look good, um, you know, with it I would have used that or some kind of pre-made rocket. I mean, um, you know, that's the easiest thing to do. But you know, the idea behind um, you know, building these on a budget, you just try to use what, whatever you have laying around. Um, you know, I, I wanted to see what it would look like, you know, mounting a rocket up there. So this is me trying to figure out like, okay, what I'm gonna build to uh, put in that hole. And can I put one rocket or can I put two rockets? We'll have to see. Okay, so I got some scrap um, card to use. Um, so this stuff was actually very, very thick. And, um, you know, I thought it'd be perfect to make, um, make a mount. The best thing about certain cardstock or any kind of cardstock or plastic that you use for scrap, you know, once you start, you know, you put some black paint on it and, uh, you know, you cover it over with metal, it looks, it looked like anything. So this is me trying to Glue, glue the pieces together. Um, a little bit of trial and error. Sorry for the off cam camera. I, sometimes I wasn't realizing that I wasn't right in the, the view of the camera, so I have to get better of a get better at um, placing a mark somewhere where I know I'm I'm right a, right in front of the lens. But um, anyways, I do do apologize for that. But this is me just kind of trying to make like a, a, a mount that will fit in there, and then the rocket can sit inside.
Okay, so just getting the uh, the rocket in there to see how it looks. I got it all glued together. Um, looks pretty pretty decent. So you know, pretty happy with that. Can only really just really get one rocket in there, not not two. Um, you know, I thought, well, at this point, this thing's just going to be like one of those red rocket type of missiles from um, you know the one of those episodes of GI Joe. They had, um, I think it was. Um, Gung Ho, I think it was. No, not Gung Ho. God, I can't remember his name now. Um, one guy they had his, his his parents had a had a burger joint, and then all the Crimson Guard commanders were buying up all the uh, the different restaurants, and then mounting real rockets to the top of the uh, top of the restaurants. It was one of my. Uh, it was a really good episode. So I think I would remember the name of it. The other thing was I thought the rocket looked kind of like the rocket from uh, from Fallout as well. Okay, so now I'm just building some armor for the for the vehicle. Just a couple of pieces here and there. Um, you know, just using some cardstock. I use a like flyer that I get in the mail. Um, you know, especially ones that have my name on it that really have nothing to do with me. Um, I like I like those, so I'll cut those up and use them for uh, making metal armor bits. Um, you don't always have to use plastic parts. You can use the uh, you know paper or um, you know, depending on the thickness that you want after after you're done it looks uh looks quite quite uh, quite good you know all painted Okay, so now now that I got to that stage, I'm gonna just start masking off the areas that I don't want to cover with any any type of paint. So I just um, you know covered over the uh, you know the sides sides of the vehicle, and um, you know I think I was I was thinking about you know painting the top all you know brown or something like that, like I had done before, and then using like a salt. Um, well, you'll see I'll use the salt. Uh, method, salting method, to create like some rust effect on it. Um, done it a few times now. It's it's, uh, it's actually pretty fun to do. Um, but I'd like to invest in. Uh, I got to get an airbrush at some point. Um, just using the spray cans, I'm pretty good at it. But I think using doing the effect with um, an airbrush would be a, would be a lot better. But you know, again, this is. You know, trying to build something on a budget and what you have around the house or, you know, what you have on hand. So this is, uh, you know, the point of the whole build. Okay, so always changing location. This is, uh, you know, I mean, just starting to spray some of the, some of the parts. Um, Just basically covering everything in black. I think I got the yeah, I got the missile there. Um, just give it a little bit of a flick. Get get uh, get it painted underneath.
Okay, so this is the salt method, and basically I took some actual sea salt and uh, just kind of grinded a few um, chunks over the black primer. And, uh, you know, kind of wanted to see what kind of effect I'm going to get once I uh, move on to the next color. Um, I started to uh, grab my, uh, some red paint that I've got that I've been using and uh, just started doing some light coats on it. But again, yeah, using the airbrush would be a lot better. But, uh, you know, you can get by with using just regular, um, like a regular can of air, and it would look, uh, look pretty good. Okay, I shot a little bit of green in the front of the car uh, afterwards and um, so just rub off all the salt. Just gonna try to see what kind of a effect I've got. Um, close up, it's uh, really, really rusty looking. And um, so, you know, so you could, you could do this with like any kind of color and uh, it looks pretty good. And then I took off all the paint, or sorry, the, took off all the tape on the sides where I didn't, um, you know, I didn't want to lose those graphics. You can see some of the metal um, that the stripper took, you know, some of the tempo off or and the paint, but um, you know, I'm gonna, I was gonna keep that the way it was. And uh, sorry again for the uh, the off camera um, footage there, but um, anyways, this is a good how how it turns out. Um, you know, just um, just using some masking tape, some salt, and uh, some can uh, can of air, sorry, spray can. Now I decided that I wanted to paint one of the doors black and kind of make it look like the um, the door got replaced somewhere along the line. So I actually masked off the entire car except for just the one door and um, got some black black paint and um, resprayed it again. And then, uh, you know, as you can see, you just take all the uh, tape off. And uh, magically, I use two different types of tape, and uh, some of the dollar store tape is super sticky, so it's both a good thing and a bad thing. But um, as you can see, it looks like a replacement door just done in black. Um, I think it looks uh, looks looks pretty good. Okay, so here I'm going to start painting the um, the interior and the engine. So I've got some of this um, paint from uh, Gaines Workshop that I use. And uh, don't use like a, a lot of it, you know, just kind of get a little bit on your brush and then just start, um, you know, kind of working around, around the engine and getting a, a, a nice even coat on it. Um, is it later, you know, you end up just doing like a wash on the engine and then doing some highlights on it. You can kind of make it the way you, way you want it to look. But, um, for the first little while I used the same brush and I didn't even really clean it. I just kind of kept going with it. So just adding a little bit more paint every, every so often, but, um, kind of stuck with, um, you know, what I had on the brush and then just do a little bit of dry brush as well. Um, you know, on the, on the back and everything.
Yeah, so I just take a little bit of a dry brush and just kind of go over the back. Um, as you'll see later in the video, I mean, really, you can't even see the interior of this of this car, but, you know, it's kind of neat. They have all this detail, and you never know it's there until you actually take the car apart. So, I mean, you know, you could actually use this, use the chassis in the interior alone and, you know, not even use the body and just kind of rebuild your own sort of, um, you know, frame, frame around it. But, um, you know, for the purpose of this video, I just thought, you know, I'll just detail everything and then... Um, you know, see you see how it turns out at the end. So I'm going to start just, uh, you know, adding uh, more detail to the body itself, um, you know, painting up the, uh, the you know, the, the armor that I put on. Um, you know, you could use a wash on these afterwards that uh, will make it just look like a rusty piece of metal, but um, I decided, I know I wanted to paint it something different, so, um, but I just base it, you know, put a base coat of metal on, on, the, on those parts. And it looked uh, looked pretty pretty cool. Looks like a piece of metal, not not uh, not cardboard anymore. And it has all that rust effect too that I use with the salt. So I actually painted the uh, the top piece blue. I kind of wanted to go with some kind of light color, you know, a piece of scrap from some other car I got got put onto uh, the top of the vehicle. Um,
So now I'm going to do some uh, some rust effect on it. Um, sometimes I use black, and then I use like a metal afterwards inside the um, inside the rust detail. But I'm going to use brown and just kind of go around the wheel wells and like the doors and kind of have like a just some browning um, going on. Kind of cover up some of the over the black overspray, and then uh, yeah, around the wheel wells. I just continue to add a little bit more brown. Um, go back to the uh, the armor piece, you know, with the blue. Just add some of the brown up there, and just around the back and around the edges, and you know, anywhere you think that um, you know the vehicle could look a little bit more rusty. And uh, you know, just kind of give it that give it that look. I think you can use. I could have used like more of a reddish brown than than I want to use, but um, you know, it was just. Kind of just grabbed whatever whatever brown was in the one of the acrylic uh, art kits that we have. Okay, so now that a lot of the base uh, paint job is done, I moved over to uh, to a wash. Um, this stuff is uh, supposed to be really good on pure metal, just taking any kind of like real metal um, paint and, and making it look rusty by itself. So I'd recommend um, you know picking some up. Uh, Games Workshop. I use different different paints, you know, depending on the budget. I mean, Games Workshop stuff tends to be a little a little bit more pricey, um, you know, but but it does a job, it's really good. Um, I might have put a little bit too much on at this stage, so you know, I'll uh kinda kinda keep going with it and then uh simply just rub off what you what else you don't want. And uh the idea is just you know getting the into the into all like the cracks and stuff like that.
Okay, so now I've got out the um, uh, paint pen. So I picked up, you know, I like these uh, paint markers. I usually just use some like silver and gold ones from uh, the dollar store. Um, I do have a set of some colored ones that I, I can't I can't find right now uh, that I picked up uh, on Amazon. But right now for this build, I don't really need it. Um, I'm just going to go over the whole model and um, put some like fresh looking nicks and scrapes and stuff like that um, just by using this and instead of using a brush it's just it is just a lot a lot quicker and you can have some um, you know more more even looking uh, marks um, so you know in the, in the brown I just wherever there was some brown I put like some dabs of um, of the silver and uh, you know you could just really do a lot of um, easy detail with these things Okay, so here's me just um, kind of going over the uh, over the seat, you know, just kind of painting, um, you know, the seats inside the interior. Um, I like the idea of leaving the cars like fully disassembled, but uh, you know, at the end, I actually glue the I glue this model, but uh, you know, I thought, oh, just you know, detail the uh, the interior, the dash, and and everything, kind of get get it looking. You know, getting it looking a little better, and then I, I I use some of the color like on the, you know, the chassis and um, and the undercarriage. Okay, so it's time to move back over to the painting the rocket. The, the rocket itself, I thought I didn't want to make it look corroded, um, you know, too much. So, you know, I took took some uh, red acrylic and I just, um, you know, just started to uh, paint up the rocket. I got a little bit on the mount, um, but then I just I just used a hobby knife and cleaned off pretty easy. I didn't have to repaint the uh, the metal part at all. But um, yeah, the rocket uh, started looking pretty good being all you know painted up nice and red I was gonna paint it white but then I thought it might look a little a little funny and I thought you know I'll just keep it keep it red like the whole red rocket theme
Okay, so with the rocket all done, it's time to move over to, you know, getting this thing all rusted up. So I use uh, chalk uh, pastels, like you use like a, uh, like the dry ones, and then you mix it with some um, alcohol. And uh, I shaved off a little bit too much, but uh, you just use a knife and and um, scrape. Use a, use like a, a container, and you just scrape off what you what you need. And the uh, alcohol, you know, once you, you're basically turning it into like a paint. But once you put it on the car, it, uh, the alcohol will dry. And then you're left with this, um, you know, like this uh, really cool like rust effect. So, so here's me just, you know, basically painting and painting on the rust in, you know, certain areas that, that I thought, you know, it could, it could be rusty. And I didn't want to cover the entire vehicle. Um, and you use the same stuff when you want to do, um, well, you'll see in a second that I'll do, uh, I'll do the base of rust. And, uh, again, I do apologize for it being a little off camera. Um, I have to work on that a little bit more, but, um, you get the idea. Um, any kind of, anytime I noticed that I wasn't in camera, I'd, I would move the model over a bit just to show you what it would look like. You know, I didn't want to cover up all the graphics with the rust still. So I just um, went around as much as I could that, you know, where I thought the rust could, would, would sit. So here I've got uh, a lighter color. I'm using sort of like a beige uh, color to kind of make it look a little bit more like sand. Um, didn't go too crazy on the wheels. I thought, you know, just put a little bit on. I think I need to figure out how to work on um, making them look a little bit more detailed. But, um, you know, I decided to do it separately. I know I did a model where I had everything all glued together and I didn't really like how it was turning out. So I thought next time I do it, I'm going to... I'm going to do these effects uh, separately and then glue it together at the end. So this is what, what I've done with this car. Um, and again, sorry, it's, uh, since it's lighter color, I thought, okay, now this is going to be the, um, you know, the dust, you know, the dirt going over top of the, the rusty car. So I really just kind of focus it on being on the front and not, not the entire car, just you're really getting all that dust from the from the front and then um, put some on the dash as well I didn't really paint the dash that much I kind of made it like like a kind of like a gray color um, so I put it I put some of the dust on the dash and um, you know and, and underneath the car as well so the bottom was already rusty but I thought okay you know what I'll put uh, I'll put some of this. I didn't want to waste it. I had all that extra in there, so I might as well just might as well just use it. So you might notice that there's another car in the tray, sorry, in the plate. Um one of the one of the green cars that I painted some time ago. I used some rust on that just to kinda it needed to have something done to it. So since I had some extra I put it in the in the shot and just did it. This is me just uh Putting it together, seeing how it starts to look. Um, I kind of fitting the pieces back and forth and then seeing if there's any extra detail that I should do.
Okay, so now kind of happy with the results. Um, now it's time to just glue it together. Just got some uh, crazy glue and um, just kind of drop some in the hole there. And, you know, let it kind of seep in. Um, it's pretty secure anyways, but, you know, the glue just kind of helps. And then, um, you know, get the rocket, uh, get the rocket mounted as well um, in the back. Again, that was actually already pretty secure. Um, the way I made it was pretty, pretty tight. So just adding some crazy glue to it, um, you know, make sure it's, it's not, it's not going to come off. there you have it so this is how we, what we started with um pretty nice looking casting you know like i, I really like the front of uh, front of it being um already mounted up high i thought okay that's that's pretty interesting for for a rocket or you know some other kind of build possibilities um you know with the engine being like right in front of the driver's view you know i didn't see putting a, a machine gun on this like from from the hood anyway so you know definitely either a, a plow or um you know, with that uh, opening at the top, you know, like a rocket would be good. So this is like the before, um, you know, how it looked from the very, very beginning when you get, you know, mint out of the package. And, um, you know, and then after all that work, um, you know, this is the end result. Um, basically a rusty looking um, Gaslands car um, that's been in the dirt and, uh, carrying like a near mint condition missile <laughs> that can um so I, I did do a little bit of detailing on the lights i use like a blue um sharpie that i got uh i thought that that, that was interesting on the um on the glass like on the on the lights and then i did a little blue on the top of the uh, air cleaner for the for the engine so um you know i don't even know what kind of make of car this is but you know, if it was like a four, it'd be four blue. You know, you want to use like a, or or even red for like a, uh, like a Mopar or something like that. So I just kind of just picked a color that, you know, would kind of go with it. Um, sorry, the engine block would be a dark blue if it was a Ford, but um, yeah, actually you could do a four, you could do a blue engine block or a air cleaner as well. But anyways, so with the interior done, um, I didn't I didn't do too much dust in there, obviously. So it kind of went together with just the dash being clean and. You know, like a rusty bottom, and uh, yeah, no, I'm glad that uh, the project was done this way. Again, being my first video, so uh, with a voiceover. So thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed the uh, the build uh, from beginning to end. Thanks.